Welcome to rookie2expert.com. My name is Manohar and today's topic is linear search. Linear search is basically a sequential search in which we go through each element of the array one by one and we find if the element to be searched is present in the array or not. For example, suppose we have one array, let's say it's 6, 8, 10, 5, 4, uh, it, it doesn't matter if the array is sorted or not, so you can take anything. So let's say 100. Okay. So in this array, this is the index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, so what we'll do in linear search, we'll take a loop and we'll go through each element one by one and see if the element is present in the array or not. So first, we'll go to the first element we see if the current element is equal to the element to be searched let's say the element to be searched is x and that is 5 so we go we see is x 5 equal to 6 no so we go forward is 5 equals to 8 no so we go move forward is 5 equals to 10 no so we move forward is 5 equals 5 yes so we return the index that is 3 here we are returning the exact index of the array. Sometimes what we do is we give the index as 3 plus 1 equals 4 because it's the fourth position. So in counting we count it as 1, 2, 3, 4 but in array we count from 0 that's why we are returning 3. But if you want you can return the on one addition fourth index as well. Okay. So, so let's write a method or function to solve this problem. So obviously the return type of this method should be integer as we are going to return the index where the element is present in the array and if it's not present we are going to return minus one. So the return type of the our method is integer. Let's call this method search or you can call it anything. So this method will take two parameters one this array that is given to us we'll take this array and element to be searched. Suppose this is x. So inside this method, what we are going to do, we will take a for loop. So this for loop will have an iterator, let's call it i, which will start from the 0th index and it will go till the end of the array, that is array dot length and we will increment it by 1 each time. So inside for loop what we are going to do, we will take a if condition, inside if we will check if the current element that we are looking for is equal to the element to be searched. So if array i equals equals x, simply we are going to return the index i, correct? And if we reach till the end of the array and we didn't find it, that means the element is not present in the array. So we are going to return minus 1. So if we come outside this for loop, that means the element is not present. And we will simply return minus 1. And this is the code snippet of this algorithm. So time complexity of this algorithm, as you can see, should be order of n where n is the size of array given to us. Why? Suppose the uh, the size of our array is 10. So in the worst case scenario, we may have to search all the elements till the end to find the element and if it's not there. Suppose it's 100. So we need to search 100 elements. So it's directly dependent on the size of the array. So whatever is the size of the array, that will be our time complexity. That is big O of n. And what will be our space complexity? So space complexity is basically extra memory that we need to run this program. So here, uh, what is the extra space that we need? So extra space is constant. Why is it so? Suppose the size is 10. How much space do you need? You need a space for i and, uh, and there's nothing, no more variable that we need. So for 
even the si if the size is 10 our space complexity is constant even the size of the array is 100 space complexity is constant so our space complexity or the extra memory that we need does not depend on the size of the array that's why its space complexity is constant times now the question comes can we do better than order of n time complexity yes we can and the algorithm is binary search algorithm for that please see our next video please find the pdf link in the description for the full executable code in the description thank you